Welcome back to Inside Glory. And since we're talking about the welterweight championship of the world being defended in Paris, how about we bring in the former welterweight champion himself, my broadcast colleague, Joseph Valtellini. What were your impressions when you heard we were going to get Dumbe versus Holskin part two in Paris? Well, it's huge because, you know, no one expects Dumbe to be this champion. And we saw Nikki be the champion for so long. So to see a change uh, in championship and to have Dumbe doing so well and having it in his hometown, uh, Nikki's, some people would even call him an underdog in this fight. What is it about Dumbe's style that gave Nikki fits the first time? Well, I think when people fight Nikki, and you know, I was in the same boat, um, Nikki's used to fighters who constantly pressure him and fight him the same way, which walks into his counter punching. And Nikki's known for his counter left hooks, um, and everyone seems to fall into his trap. But Dumbe took the approach of fighting with angles. Um, he was never a standing target. If you see him, he's constantly switching stances, which took away Nikki's low kicks, took away Nikki's counter attacks. He fought on, you know, moving on the outside. He never was a standing target, and that's what made it very difficult for Nikki to use his counter fighting. So I think he has the style to beat Nikki again, but. Is Nikki gonna come out um, like we saw against Raymond Daniels, where um, he was he had a fire under him. Um, he, he pressed the action. We haven't really seen Nikki press the action in, in his last few fights. So I think this fight sparks the fire, gets him more active and wanting to go for that KO that we used to see from him. There are some people that are saying Doom Bay has the perfect style to beat Nikki Holskin. We've already seen him do it once. Is there anything that you'd like to see different from Doom Bay this time around? No, I think he fought the perfect fight. I mean, you had him at one point, like he's uh, moving out of way of punches and he's even mocking Nikki. Hands and down by hands his Hands down. So, I mean, it's impressive. Like, I mean, no one has ever done that to Nikki. He did the same thing with Congolo, uh, which is crazy to see because both of these guys are so dominant. And to see Con uh, Dumbe come in and do that to both of those guys is just incredible. And as far as this match is concerned, is this the purest form, the most exciting form of kickboxing that we're going to see? I think that style that Dumbe brings could be um, you can different. You can look at it differently. Sometimes they say styles make fights. So Dumbe has a little bit of that Floyd Mayweather, where um, he's very good at being elusive, dynamic, making you miss. Where a lot of people want to see more pressured action. The, mm -hmm. the the Holland crowd that supports him, he wants to see more of that back and forth action, but Doom Base fights the smarter fight. He's going to eliminate himself from those fights and fight his way, and that's what makes him such a talented fighter. My man, nice job. Always nice work with you. Buddy. It's Cedric Dumbe versus Nikki Holskin for the welterweight title. Glory 42 Paris, a night of French stars. June 10th at the Acker Hotels Arena Paris. Don't miss it.